Welcome back. This is Big Paul, in case you're uh, new to the channel. Uh, be a good time to hit that bell, subscribe. Got some good content for you here. Hey, I uh, wanted to show you guys a little update, what's going on. Check this out. So I got all the rest of the springs from my granite. Be putting those on. Got another one down here from Mac. So we're going to be putting them all new springs on that. And I want you guys to check this out. You ain't gonna believe this about my cruise liner. We're gonna be changing the oil. We're going to a truck show this weekend at the Cerny's truck show in Youngstown. And I'm looking at my truck. I hope you guys can see this. Because I had to wipe off the oil filters. You can't see it that way. So I can order the oil filters. And I looked at this filter that's on the truck. Can you guys see that? It's from 10 of 13. There's three of them, obviously, but 10, hopefully you can see that, of 13. Does not look, looks like it might be an eight. I hope it's 18, but I think it's 13. So, that's some 10 year old oil. No wonder it, uh, was so black everywhere it left just a stain so i got a feeling that this truck has been getting what a lot of my old trucks did they have they leak just enough to where you add enough you it's what i call a passive oil change but it's made it this long so i just ran it and uh, warmed up the oil and we're going to change the oil we're going to drop it let it all run out put three new filters on it sharpie them up so i know when i did it because i'm not going to put a lot of miles on this truck so it's going to be based on how many years it's been i'll change the oil it's not going to be uh the miles i'm sure of that so i will stick with it and uh i'm going to get set up we're going to drain the oil and do this okay you guys i hope you can see something this is uh really tight see that that's where we're going for it's got a couple little leaks i think I'm not worried about it because this winter I'm going to take this engine out and uh, then I'm going to uh, steam clean it, change every gasket and look at it. I might rebuild it. We'll see. But uh, so for now, we're not worried about it. We'll get to that point. But we're not quite there yet. The light. There we go. Oh, there we go. Almost. Stick with me. There we go. Better than nothing. Oh yeah. That rear main leaks. Looks like it leaks pretty good. Huh. Runs down that whole cover. Well, <clears throat> not worry about that right now. Please be inch and an eighth. Oh yeah, all of my old trucks. If you see that that wrench painted like that, this wrench I've been changing oil with for 25 years. But anyways, all my old trucks used uh, this size wrench. All my newer trucks have a different size, which I also painted, but I don't remember what it is because ah, it's too much work. We just paint them, grab it when we need it. Yeah, that's going to be a hand bath. There we go. Yeah, let me see if I can get you guys a view on this. This might, this might be bad. <sighs> might be good, might be bad. I don't know. It's going to be dark. Here we go. Oh, it still got me. It got me. Oh, you see that oil running? Pretty black. 
Luckily, it don't look like it has any, anything else in it that we don't want. So that's good. All right, well, we're going to let that drain. And uh, then we'll plug it back up, change those filters, fill it back up. And uh, I'll feel a whole lot better about driving it to Youngstown, Ohio. It's about an hour, hour and a quarter away. And uh, once I've seen the oil's 10 years old and the filters are 10 years old, <laughs> kind of made that decision pretty easy. Get her done. All right, guys, I'll get back with you here in a little bit. I think this can be a, a gauge for, it's the best I can wipe my hands off. I wiped and wiped and wiped and wiped. There's a lot of carbon in that oil. Uh, uh. But it still is oily. Doesn't feel bad, so I don't think it hurt the engine. So hopefully it didn't have a lot of miles put on it. Probably didn't over the last 10 years. All right, everybody, it's Big Paul. Hey, I'm back. Well, Napa finally come through. Got all three of my oil filters. They dropped off one. Uh, then they dropped off the other two the next day. So we got the oil filters. We drained the oil. It's been sitting there draining for two days. But I wanted to give it some time and let that oil really drip out and get all the gunk out. We're not in any hurry. But tomorrow's the truck show, so we got to get it done now. Uh, today's Friday truck shows on Saturday so anyways I'm gonna set a time-lapse we got jack the cab up we got to get to these oil filters change them out put the plug back in the bottom and uh, filters fill it back up with oil and uh, shouldn't be anything thanks for watching <laughs> All right, you guys, here we go. <clears throat> I'm gonna take these oil filters off. I got a drain pan already underneath. But uh, while I pulled the drain pan out, a little bit of a surprise I'll show you guys in a minute. This truck must hold 15 gallons, 16 gallons of oil, and it's all oil. I can't believe my uh, My granite holds 55 quarts. Somebody ordered that way with a big pan. This one might be a 60 quart. I think it might be bigger. That's a lot of oil, but that's good. You want to have a long interval before you have to change it. So anyways, let's get these filters off. I don't think there's a real good angle. Let me move you guys. I think it'd be better. I don't want to get my back to you completely. It might be better if you're over here. Let's see. I'm trying to get it just right. This thing should have an angle feature. Okay. Let's hope that's a little better. Okay. I hope you guys can see something. But here we go. That's pretty straightforward. And my belts are good still. A little loose, but they'll be okay. Let's see if the little wrench will do it. Probably won't, but we'll start there since it's uh, easy to uh, deal with, kind of, because it's small. Oh, they're not very tight. Well, that's good. Last guy wasn't, uh, that's probably why they leaked too. The fuel filters were on hand tight. I could not believe how loose they were. It's pretty unbilly. Pretty unbelievable. And I was wondering why the truck always like seemed like it was losing prime. It would crank and crank, and then it would finally start. Because I know that air was uh, bleeding back in the, uh, you know, in the fuel system with those filters on loose. So now that I got them on tight, when I replaced the fuel filters, uh, no problem at all. Absolutely no problem at all. All right, got to throw this in my drain bucket. We're going to have to do this three times, but it won't be that bad. Here 
And if you think about it, the filters, oh, they probably hold another gallon and a half oil. So uh, this truck has oil capacity, that's for sure. But that's good. <clears throat> I usually use this, this wrench for tightening them because look at the marks in this filter. Somebody beat the daylights out of it. I don't know what they were doing. Look at the filter. All beat up. But whatever. Big Paul's here now. I know how to work on trucks. This ain't my first day. But I've had a few filters stick and had to do some heroic efforts to get them off. But, you know, usually that filter gets thrown out. <laughs> it doesn't usually stay on the truck. So that's why it's a little bit weird. But don't matter let's see is this one in good shape it's the dirtiest probably loose too oh that one's tight that's the tightest oh boy don't drop my tools i'll never see them again See how he's always got a hand underneath to catch it. Right there, I would have dropped it if I didn't have a hand underneath. Good deal. All right. Well, I bet that engine's glad to get them off of there. They've only been on there a decade. Like I said, the date was 10 of 13. That's no bueno. Next step. Always look underneath here. Make sure none of them O-rings stuck. And no, we feel good. Now I'm going to wipe them off. Because it looks like that's also been a while. Ooh, that's some dirty stuff. But be nice and clean. We'll put some clean oil on it. Yeah, all the old trucks had three filters like this, and then obviously you got to put the back one on first. But uh, how they all were before they had the Citramax. I guess probably all the E6s were like this. Man, look how dirty that is in there. That oil is just was epically dirty. It's like stained. It's so dirty, full of carbon. Okay, we're ready to get the new ones. Let's get going on that. Now you can tell this is an old truck because it doesn't need anything fancy. These 1791 filters are probably the most common filter. One of the most common commercial filters Napa makes. They fit on literally everything. Everything old. They were, my cost, under 12 bucks each. So you could do an oil change with the filters for like $35 worth of filters. And the new trucks, it's $150 for a filter kit. This one, three oil filters, two fuel filters, maybe you're 50 bucks into your filters. You're done. Okay. As soon as I find a Sharpie, we're going to, uh, oh, I think it's over here at my desk. I just used it. Yep. We're going to write on these filters and uh, that way we'll know when we did it last. 8, 17, 23. All right. We're going to put them on the rest of them. All right. So uh, I know you guys don't want to sit here and watch me put filters on, so I'm going to set another little time lapse. We'll put them all up, fill them with oil, and put them on. So hang tight. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to uh, put this cab down. Filters are on. 
I filled it with oil. We're going to uh, drop it down, start it up, check for leaks, check the oil, and uh, see what happens. I pull this pin. There we go. Put this cab down. I think we're going to have some gravity helping us here in a minute. Still can't believe how much oil that truck held. Boy, you could tell it was a road truck. Only a road, you know, they put big oil pans on road, road trucks so they uh, can go a long time without uh, getting their oil changed. Not a long time, but not long for, uh, for a car. But I'm sure this truck goes 15,000 miles between oil changes with a pan that big but you know over the road truck that may only be a a month so it's not that long all right whoa dropping everything that's usually how it goes And that nice oil dry all over the end of it. And that figure. So we're not going to be adding oil with this right now. If we need to, we'll see. Unbelievable. Well, all but one. One little piece. Oh, got it out. Good enough. We'll set this over here. Okay, I'm not going to cap that. Let's start her up. Check for oil pressure. Look for leaks. Oh, yeah. We got oil pressure. Let's take a look. No leaks. Nope. Maybe spraying out if it was. Right, let's let it run here for just 30 seconds here. Yeah. I'm going to shut her off and that. Let it run to the pan and check the uh, check the oil. All right. Well, I'm pretty happy we got that changed. Ten year old oil, ten year old filters. That's no good. That's just asking for a problem. So, luckily, we got that done before we got to drive it. Youngstown's about, you know, where this truck shows at, it's only about, I don't know, maybe, probably 60 miles each way. So, I'm only going to put 120 miles, maybe 130, 150 at most. It's not going to be that many miles. Trying to get these lines so they travel good. That looks good to me. I ain't using any of them. All right, gotta wipe that off for sure. All right. Not even on the stick. <laughs> Can't say I'm surprised. You know, when it finishes filling up those uh, oil filters, and I only probably half filled them because I like to get them wet 
So the uh, oil fibers, you know, the fibers inside of the uh, filter, they like, you know, start to uh, absorb or adapt to being submersed in oil. And then, uh, you know, I fill them halfway full probably. I fill them up till they fill up, but then, you know, it soaks down and you could fill them three times before they're absolutely full. I'm not taking them that full because once you start that engine, it's bumping in there pretty fast. And uh, like I said, it's already had oil in it, so it's it's fine. But uh, it lessens the amount of time that it runs dry. But it's not really dry anyways because it's, you know, pretty oily in there still. All right, let's see how... You know, these old engines, it's kind of funny. The uh, the fill tube is right above the dipstick tube. So when you dump oil in it, it's it's always it's dripping down onto the dipstick tube as you pull it in and out. I don't know why they did that like that. Now, the newer motors or engines, you can fill it on either side, at least on my granite. So you don't have that problem. But anyways... We're going to get that oil checked and we're going to be done. Hey everyone, it's Big Paul. I'm back. Well, oil change is done. I just backed it out of the shop. It's running great. Sounds good. I'm sure it appreciates the new oil. That's for sure. So, uh, I guess that'll be it for this video. I'm going to set a little time lapse. We're going to uh, do a little uh, pressure washing and an armor all in and get this truck ready for the truck show. It's Saturday morning and we're taking it to the show. So uh, I'm going to start a video of us uh, rolling out and uh, headed to the show and when we get there. So we'll see, we'll, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Thanks. Hey guys, welcome back. And so today I gotta clean the camera. Thanks for watching.